Hello everybody, I am in so much trouble. They have brought out a Lego Batman collectible trading card game. Oh no, this is going to cost me a fortune. I really, really hope there aren't that many cards. Well, I discovered it completely by chance. I promise I was not hanging around in the children's magazine section. I just happened to be walking past and saw this issue of Lego Batman magazine, which I wouldn't normally buy, which had a limited edition Robin and a pack of cards on the front of it, which led me to go back a day later to buy this rather lovely binder, which had an additional pack of cards, as well as a game board piece of paper and a giant size version of the rules. It also came with an... Batman limited edition card and the Robin limited edition card was on the front of the magazine. So you can see actually there are a heck of a lot of cards. I think there are 202 in total, which is a bit distressing. Speaking of distressing, it was an Ultra the Joker giant card which only comes with this folder. There are also going to be multi packs with some other mega rare cards and I'm really hoping that you don't have to buy too many magazines to get the rest because that would be terrible. I'm going to end up with loads of Lego figures, not like that's a bad thing. So I've got various cards, General Zod, um, Robin in his in a little car. The Mighty Micros cards are supposed to have some sort of game mechanic. There's action cards, there are puzzle cards that you can use to create your own game board. Oh, I won't be going for the full set. Not least because the full set doesn't even fit in the folder. The folder only fits 180 cards in it, even though there are 202. So I can see what you've done there, Lego, and it's clever, but I'm not falling for it. Oh, wait, hang on. I, I already have fallen for it because, um, well, actually, I've bought a whole box of the cards. <clears throat> yeah, 25 packets. I think we've got a lot of opening to do. Okay, let's do this and see what I get. There seem to be four different packets. The first is uh, Green Lantern and Batman. I can never take Green Lantern seriously after the Lego movie. Then we've got Batman and Robin. We have got Superman and The Flash. And we've got Batman and Wonder Woman. Let's get going on this. Ugh. Oh, they had to be really difficult ones to open, didn't they? They're epic. They better be epic. There is a guaranteed shiny in every pack, allegedly. I say shiny, obviously that's not what they called them. A special card or something. Oh, we're not even going to find out on this one. Are you the shiny? Oh, you so are. Ooh, what's this? It's got Superman and it's got Bizarro. And it's super rainbowy. Oh, I love it. The Joker card. I think that might be a really cool one. I think that might be one of those, I've just won the game because I've got that sort of cards. Then we've got Mighty Micro's Wonder Woman, a superpower, which is Superman removing one active vehicle card from the arena and putting it on the discard pile of its owner. We've got Green Zaro. I'm more than happy to admit I don't know quite a few of these characters, and Cyborg. Oh, I'm really pleased with that Joker card, that's a great start. In this one, these cards are definitely made for breaking on video because you can keep the really good card until last. So we've got Robin, we've got Starfire. Ooh, and that must be one of the puzzle cards that you can create your own arenas from. Captain Cold, Captain Cold? Who is Captain Cold? I don't know, and then, oh, that's awesome. Check that out. Action Supergirl. Oh, I really like that one. I love shiny. I like these because you can hide the shiny one till last. We've got the Cyborg Copter. Your opponent's allies lose 20 from their defence. Cannonball Jump. Draw one card for each ally your opponent controls in the arena. <laughs> Mighty Micro's Batman. You can move this card at the beginning of your each of your turns to a neighbouring free field in the arena. Oh, Mac, that's another one that I don't know. And da, 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 mean reverse flash. These are great. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a sucker for anything that's got rainbow effects on it, but they're very nicely designed. Right, got this now. Back to the back. 
<laughs> Mighty Micro's Robin, again, I think we've had that one. Brainiac attack, rotate one of your own and two of your opponent's allies in the arena 180 degrees. Team Evil. <laughs> the Green Arrow, who's like just a green Hawkeye. Who came first? Who came first? I don't know. And... Da, 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 da. <gasps> it's Ultra Batman! Check that out! That's gold and sparkly. Oh, I love it. I love them. I'm so glad I bought the folder. We can put all the shiny ones together. Shiny to the back. Oh, upside down. We've got super power jump. Another puzzle card. A bit weird, those ones, but I do kind of get the concept of being able to build your own arena. Blue beetle. Is he the chap who's got a beetle light in his back? Team green. They're very, very green. And then the shiny is... Action Robin. I'm being slightly cynical about it, but actually I don't know which characters did come first. Was it Marvel? Was it DC? Was it the Green Arrow or was it Hawkeye? Anyway, this is bulletproof. Take two action cards from your discard pile, play back into your hand. You may play one immediately. Love that picture. Kapow! Then got another puzzle card. It's Superman looking super angry. Of course. <laughs> Plastic ma- what the devil? Really, mate, of all the superpowers to be lumbered with, eh? Then we've got the Riddler. Mega evil. He's not just a bit evil. He's mega evil. And then the shiny at the back is Ultra the Flash. They're very nice cards. I do appreciate a good, well-designed shiny card. Seems to be doing okay at the moment. It's difficult to know what okay is with a game like this, especially when you get a shiny card in every pack. But we've got Mighty Micro's Power Batman. Looks like old Adam West Batman. Then Batman's Buggy. Draw one card for each dual one. Then Team Wicked. I've already got that one. Team Batman. That's more like it. Except for the dog. What's with the dog? And the shiny one. Ooh, Justice League Superman. I like you, but you do look very angry, sir. What are you so angry about? Mind you, I'd be angry if they'd killed me off. I'm just reading the death of Superman, the collected ones at the moment. He hasn't died yet, but there's a kind of a bit of a spoiler in the title. We've got the Joker dance. Play an additional character card from your discard pile. Jewels may take place. Draw a card. The Flying Fox. These vehicle cards are really cool. Killer Moth. Killer Moth. God, man, they were running out of ideas. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. I didn't know until very recently that there are loads of Green Lanterns. I didn't realise that, that it was actually a collective of people. So <laughs> you learn something new every day. And then at the back, we have got... Ooh, Action Wonder Woman. The only problem with shiny cards is you don't really want to play the game with them because you just want to put them into a folder. Uh, this one's got the rules in it. Thinking about it, actually the first packet that I got had the rules in it and it didn't dawn on me that they didn't all have the rules in it. You'd end up with an awful lot of rules. I love the way that that's a tiny rules and with the folder you get a big rules. So what we got? Hold up. Let me do that. We've got Angry in the Rain with Harley Quinn. I already have that one. Maximum firepower. All of your allies get plus 40 on all values during this turn. Then, Ares? Ares? I don't know. That's a ridiculous costume, though. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Frozen head. And malicious yellow parademon. Wow. Not just a demon. Not even just a parademon. Not even just a yellow parademon but a malicious yellow parademon, be very afraid. I've just turfed some more rules out to reveal Mighty Micro's Harley Quinn. That has a big hammer, but I do like the little wind-up thing there. That's really cool. We've got, oh, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor Mech. Your opponent can play two character cards on their turn, so you have to sacrifice something to use that epic vehicle there. Hawkman. Uh, Supergirl, that's standard Supergirl, and Miss Shiny is... Oh, another malicious one. It's malicious. 
Steppenwolf. Highly malicious and also highly rainbowy. Doing exceptionally well not to get any shiny duplicates so far. I don't know whether that's planned. This is a kryptonite forklift. <laughs> On your turn, the lowest value instead of the highest wins in each duel. Kryptonite forklift. Is that an actual thing? Is that in a film? Or is that just Lego being silly? That's amused me. Then we have Fear Gas. This is like the comedy pack. On this turn, the lowest value instead of the highest wins in each duel. Again. <laughs> then, oh, that, that's weird because that kind of feels slightly different. That's got a slightly rough feel. Odd. Then we've got Bad Girl. The Riddler and Shiny is Justice League Batman. Very nice. We've got some more rules in this one. Then we have Lightning Bolt. You've got to discard all the cards from your hands and draw new ones. We've got a puzzle card. It says play an additional character card. And on the back of it is, oh dear, the Penguin with his umbrella. Two-Face. Another one from Batman Forever. And mean Lex Luthor. Is he anything other than mean? Like, genuinely. Lex Luthor is mean. He's, that's the point of Lex Luthor, isn't it? He's just a very nasty bloke. Here is the classic Batmobile. Your opponent's allies lose 20 from their attack. Then we've got Earthquake, which rotates all the character cards in the arena 180 degrees. We've got Nightwing. That's a lot of stuff to have on your back, mate. Bane. And Miss Shiny is Action Cyborg. We've got a Mighty Micros Catwoman in this next packet. And it has a tail. And I think she's got a carton of milk. Brilliant! Another puzzle card. This one. Oh, woo! It's flying off. It's Shazam looking a bit healthier than Superman was. Then we have Beast Boy, <laughs> the Joker, and the Shiny is Justice League Wonder Woman with her little Lego sword. Speaking of Wonder Woman, here we have the Lasso of Truth. Rotate one of your opponent's allies 180 degrees. Yes, you really do belong to me. It's the truth. We have the Batmobile. We have, whoa, what is that? Bat-Zaro. Then Evil Mr. Freeze. Like he's not evil already. And... Woo! Ultra Green Lantern. I don't care how ultra you are. I still can't take you seriously. Mighty Micro's Nightwing next. That's a cool little car. You can move this card at the beginning of each of your turns to a neighbouring free field in the arena. Then we got a puzzle card. Oh! It's the man himself looking incredibly hacked off. Probably because behind him is, oh, strong green arrow. What, does he just hit you with the bow instead of bothering to shoot an arrow out of it? Then, Team Superman. What is it with animals? And then Shiny. Team Maniac Shiny. My Shiny in this one was upside down, so it better be good. My first card is... Ah! <laughs> Put one of your opponent's allies from the arena into the discard pile. Yeah. Eat my giant hammer. Then we have diving attack. Oh, it's Aquaman. Two of your opponent's allies are returned to the arena. It's got a shark in it. Then red lantern atrocitus. Mean two-face. I mean, again, he is quite mean anyway. Why would you need a mean version? And then... Let's see whether being upside down means anything. Oh, it's Action Bat Girl. Next up, the Bat Signal. No duel will take place on your opponent's next turn. The Bat Copter, Firefly, Zatanna. I don't know her. And then, <gasps> Mean Harley Quinn. And my God, does she look mean? We've got Mighty Micros, the Joker. He seems to be taking time to have an ice lolly while he's driving. I'm not sure that that's safe, sir. Then, Killer Croc's Battle Chomper. Really? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's pretty cool, but Killer Croc Battle Chomper? 
Then behind that we have the Atom Kid Flash. And then we have an upside down shiny, which is, oh, we've got another of the Joker cards here with Green Lantern and Green Zaro. Speaking of Bizarro, there's his Mighty Micros. We then have the Power of the Ring. Search your deck for the card of your choice and add it to your hand. Evil Lex Luthor, like he's anything else. Green Lantern, what? In the name, seriously, what is it with squirrels? And then please don't be like Ultra Squirrel. Oh no, it's Malicious Green Parademon because a yellow one wasn't enough. Penultimate packet seems to be collecting all of the bat vehicles. This is Batman's bat tank. Then, oh, Kryptonite. Just Kryptonite, I love that. I love Lego Kryptonite, it makes me laugh. Remove all heroes from the arena and put them on top of their owner's decks. Green Lantern Jessica Cruz, the Scarecrow, and Action Aquaman, looking very different from last time we saw him. And last but not least, I have a puzzle card of, oh look, Aquaman, trying to get in again before this video ends, the Escape Capsule. Team Wonder Woman, I like it, but I don't know who the other Wonder Woman is. Poison Ivy. And last but not least on the shinies, <gasps> Ultra Brainiac. Ultra pink, you mean. So let's have a little recap of what I've got. I've tried to put these at an angle where you can see the rainbow effect. And it's incredibly difficult to get on camera. But here we go. Four Justice League cards. Wonder Woman. Aquaman with a beard. Batman and Superman. Then two The Joker cards, which I'm very pleased about because I think that those are the sort of slightly rare game ending cards. Green Lantern and Green Zaro, and Superman and Bizarro. Then I got six action cards. I've accidentally put one into the wrong group here. Cyborg, slightly better shaven Aquaman, Robin, Wonder Woman, and Supergirl, I love that. That's a great card. Love that design. Again, I think it might be because it looks like Captain Marvel, but nevertheless, I really like that one. And Batgirl. Then three mean cards. First, mean reverse flash. I like the design of that as well. Mean Lex Luthor. And mean Harley Quinn, which is also a pretty awesome one. Then... Team Maniac and Sinestro, I'm getting in the way of my own light here set up to try and get the effects of the hollow. And then I got five Ultra cards. Ultra Brainiac, Ultra Bane, Ultra The Flash, which is another really cool one, Ultra Green Lantern, and of course, most importantly, I'm Ultra Batman. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Not a single duplicate. I don't know whether that's because I bought a whole box and it's set up like that. The actual distribution of the cards is set up like that. I imagine being a kid's game, it very probably is. But to be honest, I did pretty well on not getting that many duplicates in the other cards as well. So I've got to look out now for the limited edition multi-packs because they have more of the limited edition cards like the... Batman and Robin ones that I got. I think the Joker comes on the next issue of Lego Batman magazine and then eight of them come in the multi-packs and then I'm sure there are some others so I'm not quite sure. I'm really hoping that none of them are Comic-Con specific or stupid things. Let's see. Let's see what happens but I'm gonna pull out this one. This is my Action Supergirl card which I think is particularly nice. And I'm going to hope that somebody recreates all of these for Tabletop Simulator. <laughs> and me and my friends are going to go off and try this out now and see how it works. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy shiny rainbow stuff as much as I do. I love it. I stand corrected. It was not, in fact, the Joker that came with the next issue of Lego Batman magazine. It was a limited edition Superman card. Quite possibly the best card of all of them and even better it also came with an actual superman 
complete with Lego Kryptonite. Yippee!